Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell XPX 13. The model of this is 9310-7351-SLV-PUS. And the Intel processor is i7, 11 Gen, and it runs on 3.00 GHz. And this RAM here is 16 gigs of RAM, runs on Windows 10, home version, okay. And the hard drive is one terabyte M.2 solid state drive. So what I wanted to do in this video here is to run a 3D benchmark test. And this test here will show me the result on how well the laptop performs. So let me go ahead and uh, read off the description here is listed. It runs on Windows 10, 16 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte M.2 SSD drive. The processor is 11 Gen Intel i7, 1185. It runs on 3 megahertz, 3000 megahertz. Uh, this does not have the graphics card. It's the built-in graphics that comes from the CPU. So it's the Intel Iris. XE graphics 400 megahertz so let me go ahead and run the test the benchmark and I'd like to share with you the result and with the result I hope that it would help you to determine whether this laptop here is a good buy for you or whether it's not a good buy now straight off the box if you're gonna use this for gaming I highly not recommend this for gaming because the LCD screen refresh rate is not as good as the real gaming laptop computers and also you do not want to go with or game with this 13 inch 13.4 inch screen it's kind of small for gaming now this laptop here is good for travel if you're planning to if you use this for a business you travel a lot not just for a business but let's say if you go to school right and if you attended a college and if you need a laptop I feel like this laptop might be a good let me lower the volume a little bit so this is a very lightweight laptop it's only I'm not sure how much it weighs let me go ahead and see if I can find the description uh, Let's see. I do not have the weight on the laptop. It just say ultra lightweight. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means by ultra lightweight. Well, anyway, you can Google and look it up. Um, right now, I'd just like to discuss about how I view on this uh, laptop here. So, um, so far, it's, you know, doing running the benchmark test. And uh, as you can see, the graphics is not too bad. Uh, it doesn't feel like, like jaggy or laggy on the screen. If it runs pretty smooth, I, I feel like the screen is okay. Um... I feel like the graphics and the laptop perform just just well enough if, if you want to game with it um, again I know if you uh, this is this is meant to be uh, very portable lightweight if you travel a lot or if you go back and forth to college uh, if you use this for school um, of course I think you're gonna game the uh, you're gonna use the laptop to game as well um, not a bad idea but I just do not recommend it um, so far the benchmark seems to be quite reasonable. I do not see the screen is jaggy. I do not see the screen is laggy. Um, looks like it performs pretty well. We will see what's the result at the end. Um, maybe because it runs on Intel i7 uh, processor. This is the Intel Evo. So uh, we'll check out the result. Now, if you 
the the screen this is a touch screen uh, meaning that um, you can use the touchpad on the cursor or you can you can touch the screen uh, this screen here does not fold 360 meaning that it only folds all the way to a certain level it doesn't fold all the way to the back and use as a tablet Um, the LCD screen is a lead sensor, meaning that if you lift the screen up, it would automatically turns on the computer uh, when you did a com when you did a complete shutdown, and you close the screen. The next time when you re open up the screen, uh, it would actually start the computer without you pressing the power button. Now the power button and the Touch ID is located on the laptop top right corner, and um, it's kind of like Apple or maybe like your iPhone uh, where, you, where, you, where you can use the uh, touch ID on it so this computer has that built-in feature finger reader fingerprint reader the camera is very good high quality um, it has the four elements I'm not sure what that is Maybe it's a lens or the sensor on the front of the laptop screen, uh, but it looks like it's a good quality camera. Uh, what else is there? The downside of it is I feel like it doesn't have a USB port. It only comes with two USB C, one on the left, the second is on the right. So if you're going to use one on the right to plug into charge your computer, Technically, you only have one USB-C left on the left side of the laptop. So I think they probably force you to buy this add-on USB-C hub for you to, you know, if you have a regular USB drive uh, or external drive, it kind of force you to buy that one extra piece of accessory to carry with you. So that I would consider you should add that onto the weight including with the laptop so they can't cut something else out and not having the features by the time when you buy the accessories to re to have the feature on you're adding more weight to the computer so in a way it's kind of like a cheating that says it's a lightweight but once you cut everything off you buy the accessories you're adding the weight back into it I do not know why they want to do that Okay, but other than that, I think um, this one here, if you're going to use it for designing, like 3D AutoCAD, if you're an architect, if you're an engineer, um, if you're going to use this for Lightroom to edit your uh, photos, or you want to use it for Adobe Premiere to edit your video, uh, I think this laptop is, is, is well enough capable to perform all that. Uh, all that all that work um, if you're gonna use it all right so I think we are pretty much close to the end of the result and once we have the result we can go over all right here comes the result so the score is 1653 uh, which is not bad at all the graphics card has 1513 uh, which is pretty decent and the CPU of course is is pretty good It's 3500 so I do quite happy with with the results and I think this is pretty well equipped all, all together so if you're gonna have one laptop have multi-purpose on it meaning that you're gonna use it for school if you're gonna do your homework with this and you need to be able to be very portable, travel with it. Um, if you're going to use it for your work, like to do the designing, uh, able to carry with you on the go, fast performance, and all sort of things, I think this is a good laptop, a good investment for that. And sometimes in the weekend, if you have friends, uh, that asks you for gaming I think simple games not a problem you can reduce the quality on a game video and it performs just well 
this one here has a good Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth so if you're gonna game maybe you can use an external mouse and keyboard uh, like again those would add additional weight when you carry with you but other than that I think the performance is very well I'm quite like with the uh, result and this is it so I'd like to share this with video with you if you decided to buy the laptop uh, I have the link in the description and until next time so please take care click the like button subscribe I really appreciate you for the time watching all the way to the end until next time take care